some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Aberdeen, New Jersey, where a police officer has pulled somebody over for a burned-out taillight, and he ends up encountering a sovereign citizen, but this conversation doesn't last too long because the officer doesn't take any of the BS, and it is resolved quite quickly. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My camera's recording too, so. And your probable cause? Probable cause for the stop right now is you have a rear brake light out on your passenger side. And your name? Sergeant Matt Lloyd, badge number 70 of the Aberdeen County Police Department. So I'll request again your license, your registration, and your insurance card. What are you looking in there for? Nappy. For what? Nappy. Oh, don't be moving too much. <laughs> That's not good. Um, you have a delegation of authority order? This is a concept that I find that may only exist within the mind of the average Sovtard, because every time I look this up, it only ends up with me finding the sociological concept of division of labor, which is basically splitting everybody off into specialized tasks within a community to perform labor more effectively, which has really nothing to do with... Uh, traffic laws, so let's continue on. Excuse me? Delegation of authority order. Um, again, I'm going to ask you again for your license, your registration, and your insurance card, which you are required to give me for operating a motor vehicle, sir. But you're required to show me ID. Hey, a crown munching soft tart. We're going to need a citation on that because you know what? He's already identified himself several times. Isn't that sufficient enough? Before I pass off personal ID. You have ID. your ID right here. My name, my badge. Record Lloyd seven zero. Okay. Okay, I understand right. that, but okay. that again, still doesn't I've show now me introduced that. myself to you several times, okay? I'm gonna ask you again. If you do not provide me with that, okay, then I will have to arrest you for obstruction, which I don't want to do. Okay, you're interfering with my motor vehicle stop right now. All I'm asking I'm for not, is I'm a not license. operating a motor vehicle. You are operating a motor vehicle. Yes you are. What? How am I operating a motor vehicle? You just drove to this spot right here, right? I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Oh, these silly little word games that these soft tarts love to play with the officers. I mean, yeah, you are traveling, but you are operating a motor vehicle, which is a method that is used to travel from point A to point B. And according to the 10th Amendment, the states have the right to create laws that are not covered within the Constitution. And driving is not covered in the Constitution. So as a result, New Jersey has laws that cover this kind of thing. And you are indeed breaking the laws because you are driving without a valid license. In fact, under a suspended license at that, as we shall soon find out. Okay, traveling, driving. No, there's two different tomatoes, things. Tomatoes, okay? No, 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 no. It's not okay. tomatoes, tomatoes. Sir, listen, again. Like I said, I'm recording this, you're recording this, that's great. Provide me with your paperwork and we can go from there. Okay? Here's my paperwork. Thank you, sir. Do you have insurance for this vehicle and a registration? Um, this insurance, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a region area. Right, that would be great. Thank you. Man, we don't have to make this difficult. You're making it more difficult than it already is. You no, know I just saying? I got certain questions. Y'all ask for certain okay. questions. I ask for certain questions. Okay. That's all. Well, as long as we're all on the same page and we get to the end result, right? We're all good. Okay. How do you say your name? I don't have a name. It's an appellation. It's your Honor L. Bay. Name denotes to a corporation. I'm not a corporate person. Oh yeah, another sob tart argument that we are all part of a major corporation when it is actually a nation, not a corporation. And part of that argument is that our names are part of a co massive corporate structure to keep us in massive servitude to the corporation. Which, that tends to be a, a really pathetic argument anyway, considering it is your parents that name you from birth, not a corporation or a government. But of course, what do you expect from these sovereign citizen arguments? They're not very well thought out. As you see on there, it says natural person. 
what was your born name? Do you have a driver's license? Because this isn't a driver's license. I, well, you need a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle in the state of New Jersey? That's why you get it right. It's traveling. I'm traveling. I have the right to travel, which is a constitutional right. Okay. Did you take an oath to the Constitution? I most certainly did, sir. Okay, so then okay. you know you're violating your Amendment 4. Well, it is not exactly a violation of the Fourth Amendment, considering your driver's license is not your own possession. It is a property of the state that it was issued in. And New Jersey does have a law that pertains to that as well. And if you would all stop drinking the damn lead paint, you would come to understand that. But you know what? I don't come to expect too much out of you softards anymore as far as your overall collective intelligence. Constitution, correct? Sir, for my safety and yours, remain inside your car. Well, vessel. It's not a car. Oh my god, who the hell cares? You gotta get that shit right. Don't be, don't be labeling this shit as something. Because as soon as you do, that's their little cold words. Car, motor vehicle, all of that. <clears throat> well, he's not coming back with paperwork. Sir, can you do me a favor? Step from your vehicle, please. Or... Well, you have a suspended driver's license, sir. So we need to talk about it out here. Okay? I don't subscribe to a driver's license. Okay, well, we're going to handle this not on the side of the road. We're going to handle it at headquarters, so I'm going to ask you to step out of your car. Why am I going to headquarters? Because you're going to be placed under arrest for driving with a suspended driver's license. Okay, so I'm going to ask you again to step out of your vehicle. This is how it goes down. Do you have a license on you to operate this vehicle? Nah, but I'm. This is. Okay, well, you're parked on the street, so I need to see your ID to make sure we can get this off the road here. You're half in the road, half off of it. So to operate this vehicle, I'm gonna need to see your driver's license. Oh yeah, I don't have. You don't have a license? I don't have it. No, I don't have no ID on me. Why I don't not? have my wallet. Why not? Because my wallet is at my house. Okay. So then, how are you gonna operate this car then? I said I could, uh, this is my grandfather's house, so I could, okay. but I mean, if we, are we that far into the street? You parked on the wrong side. You parked on the wrong side, you're based the opposite way, and your car's back this far off the curb. Well, I mean, if, if push comes to shove, I could just push it into the driveway. Right. You have any warrants or anything like that? No. No? Okay. All right, just hang tight. I'm going to run, make sure you got a license. Right. If that's the case, if that's the case, you got grandpa over here that can help you out. Then we'll get the car in there. What'd your dad put under the seat here? Um, to be honest, I didn't. I was looking out this rearview mirror the whole time. I didn't see. So what did he put under the seat there? Is there gonna be drugs in this car? No. You sure? I'm positive. You're 100 percent positive. I'm positive. None of us okay. do drugs. All right, because I'm gonna look right there. All right. Okay. All right. If that's the case. You got the keys, mm -hmm. ask grandpa to come out, call one of your friends, just move it then. All right. Okay? All right. All right. Just hang tight for a minute. Okay. Hold on to your insurance and stuff, all right? All right. Are you a sovereign citizen too? No. No? no. Okay. Uh, that's your father, correct? Yeah. All right. 
Um, obviously, he doesn't. Ha he has a New Jersey driver's license. Okay, whether he says his name is or Honor L. Bay or whatever it may be. Okay, he still can't drive, so that's why he's being arrested. You're gonna need to pick him up. Let him Which know. um Aberdeen? Aberdeen on Church Street, Church in Atlantic. Yeah, I know where Aberdeen. All right, so as soon as we check everything out here with you. You can be on your way and then uh, make arrangements to get your old man, okay? All right. Thanks, man. We gotta check with me. Well, there you have it, folks. This is more or less the way a soft tart stop should end. No fuss, no muss, no arguing, or anything like that. But that would be in a perfect world where every one of them ended up like this. But we all know that is not the case. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.